one, go! All six robots making a leaping start here in quarterfinal four, match number one. Both sides of the cargo ships will have some hatch panels placed. Looks like Team 3390 attracted some fouls from the referee. Lines have been lifted. These alliances are now trying to control their robots to score on the cargo ship and the rocket. It looks like, as usual, there will be a defensive bot. For the Red Alliance, it'll be 41-59. That's Cardinal Robotics out of Lowell High in San Francisco. While their alliance partner, 54-99, wastes no time whatsoever filling up that Red Alliance cargo ship. They have now completely, completely filled up the cargo ship. It is ready for launch at the end of the match, and they still have a minute and a half left to go. That means they're going to start focusing on their rocket. Meanwhile, the Anatolian Eagle Boss, the wonderful team out of Turkey, will begin work, or continue work, I should say, on the Blue Alliance cargo ship. While their partners, 3880 out of Hawaii, places another cargo cover on the blue rocket on the far side of the field. A little over a minute remaining in the match. 57 red, 46 blue, your score so far. We now find the Blue Alliance just one empty cargo hatch away from completing their ship as well. This could be something we may see going forward in the playoff rounds. Red Alliance still in the lead. Team 41-59 falling off of the half on the Red Alliance side of the field. Looks like they're uh, halfway up one platform. We'll see which one that counts for. Meanwhile, Team 3880, their robot, Copiana, has its ramp down and it's waiting. It's waiting for an Alliance partner to climb up and it'll be 33-90, the Anatolian Ego Bots. Climbing on to level three, they potentially will have quite a few points from that in-game strategy. We'll have to wait for the referees to let us 10-point victory, 80 to seven. Red Alliance taking that first match in this epic meetup. And with that, we are now done with the first.